everybody welcome back to my channel and to this Mary Poppins costume DIY tutorial hope you guys all enjoy it make sure to hit the subscribe button to see more costume tutorials like this and let's go ahead and get started first you're gonna need a black hat then some daisies something to mimic red cherries a pair of scissors and a hot glue gun now we're going to cut just the flower part and we're going to take some hot glue gun and focus it on the base of the flower. Just press this firmly on the place where we want the daisy which is around the inner brim of the hat so we create our nice design. Now I'm going to also snip off for our cherry here and add some hot glue gun to it at the bottom so that it sticks and you just want to create a nice pattern around the inner brim of the hat using daisies and these false cherries. And you might get something that looks like this, or feel free to add your own interpretation on this hat. Here I got this white blouse from the thrift store for $3, and I loved it because it had the ruffle collar, and it's going to really enhance the way our outfit looks. Now I'm adding a red neck bow tie, but if you don't have this, you can add red ribbon around your neck instead. I'm applying a very matte and light foundation to my skin. It's full coverage. I want a very flawless porcelain looking skin for this look. So just apply this with a pretty heavy hand for this step. Now I'm going to take a full coverage concealer by Makeup Forever and just push that into the skin. I'm using again one of the lighter shades. Just continue to keep that porcelain looking skin and I really want my skin to have full coverage look. Don't hold back on face makeup here. This is part of the fun with costume makeup. This is not meant for every day obviously so just have fun with it here. To give a nice matte eye, I'm using this white eyeshadow from Lorac that really shows up beautifully on the eyelid and I'm really packing it on because we want it to be a really smooth looking lid and it's really concentrated with that white color so just pack it on all across the lids. Then here I'm taking this cool gray color that's going to be great for cutting out our crease. It just gives a really nice definition and it's fun to use something that's not my typical warm colors because she definitely has this more cool tone cutting her crease. So you just want to take this with a taper brush and focus it towards the inner corner of the eye. To accentuate the eyes, I like to go with the gel eyeliner. Uh, I'm using the Bobbi Brown one with a pencil brush, and I'm just really winging it out. I want the eyes to have a nice lift to them. And then once you complete that, you can add some cat eye style eyelashes. These are the Ardell Demi Wispies, which help me definitely achieve that sort of look. Now I'm going to set my makeup with the RCMA No Color Powder. So what I did was just quickly touch up the concealer with a brush and then I went in with a Real Techniques Beauty Blender brush with the powder to set that and we're going to bake it. Uh, Mary Poppins, I don't know if she baked back in the day, but we're going to do it for her today. We kind of have lost our eyebrows a little bit, so we definitely want them to be defined for this look and have some nice structure. So the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade is a perfect way to bring out the shape again, and it's just going to help frame the rest of our eye makeup. After dusting off that excess powder on my face, I took that same color that was in my crease and ran it right below my waterline on the lower lash line. I took a flesh tone pencil by Cover FX and placed that inside the waterline to really open up the eyes and give a little more a dramatic effect to the eye makeup. All right, no contouring. We're going straight into blush because that's really all that's on her face is a very hot pink blush. And it's like you can't even mess up. You can put as much as you want and it won't seem crazy for this costume because that's what it looks like. And I just am so relieved. I love it. I was having a lot of fun with this step. Uh, so just find the hottest pink blush that you own and, and go to town. For lips, I chose Bang Bang by Smashbox, a perfect cherry red. This goes so well with the tie that I'm wearing and also the cherries in my hat. And oh yeah, I planned that. I wanted to make sure they were all the same tone and it ends up looking really good during the final look. The hair is probably the easiest step for Mary Poppins. I just br paddle brushed it out and got little knots out and then I flat ironed the front of it away from my face since that's the part you're going to see. Just wanted to smooth out the front section pieces. Then my hair is in a front center part and I brought down the rest of the hair to the nape of my neck and created just a bun. That's all I did, a spiral bun super easy and then I just pulled the front pieces a little more down and forward because you want them to pop out when you wear the hat 
So that's it. If you have short hair, you could do a little more like curling or something to it, which would be cool. But since I have longer hair, this works just fine and it is super easy. I DIY'd my entire outfit and for shoes I got these from Ross last year and I thought they were perfect to wear with my outfit. I had black opaque tights then I borrowed this great handbag which actually is perfect as like a weekend bag like she has uh, from my friend Meg Byram who was filming me during this and then I got this belt from the thrift store for three dollars to cinch the whole waist in and then again here is the blouse and the bow tie and then the hat we DIY'd in the beginning of the tutorial which is honestly the most fun part you can really make this look your own and put your own spin on it well there you have it guys, that is going to complete this Mary Poppins DIY costume, hair, makeup, and outfit. I hope you guys have an amazing happy Halloween season and let me know what you're going to be for this Halloween in the comment section below. Also make sure to check out my other Halloween tutorials and to subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!